Hey guys, this is Rick. I hope everyone's having a great day. This is a video on how to make a quick and simple auto cue. Now, if you want to make your presentations quite professional and you want it to sound like you're, uh, you know, you're very, very fluent and you haven't got uh, my problem where I keep saying err, uh, err, uh, err uh, all the time, then what you need is an auto cue. Now, auto cues can be very expensive. There are various videos out there on YouTube which show you how to make your own one where you use um, you know, a sheet of glass and reflective screens and things like that. But I've got a much, much simpler design and I'm gonna prove it to you now. I've got the auto cue set up and I'm literally just gonna read from it and um, it's from an upcoming video all about ginger. And uh, what I'm gonna say is ginger is readily available all year round in just about every grocery shop on the planet. And it has an extremely long list of really effective uses, especially in herbalism. I could go on, but I basically read that off the auto cue behind me. Now, I wanna show you the setup I've got here, but of course I'm filming with the camera. So uh, what I'm gonna do is use my little, uh, this little, camera now hopefully the batteries are going to last because this thing eats batteries but what I'll do is I'll, I'll get a bit of footage here now and I can show you give you a glimpse of what's going on before I remove the camera that camera and I can show you the rest so I'm recording this now so I'm recording me recording you and if you look just above the camera there you'll see there's a laptop perched behind on uh, the, the sort of um, well it's, it's perched against the window, it's sat on my uh, audio equipment case, and it's positioned in such a way that when I stand in front of that camera, what I'm actually reading is just the lines there. Okay, so now the idea is, I want to keep that, uh, that as close to the top of my camera as I possibly can, because if it's higher up, if it's up here, then it sort of gets a bit obvious. You can see in my eyes that I'm looking above the lens. All that is, is um, uh, Microsoft Notepad. It's just a very, very simple text uh, document. And uh, what I do is I just scroll it up as I go using uh, this mouse. So this mouse is on an extension cord. As you can see there, goes up into a USB slot on the side of the laptop. And uh, as I scroll my mouse, the text scrolls up like so. And it's as simple as that. And uh, the beauty of this extension cord is it's, it's, on, it's on a nice long cord, so I can sit right back here, um, or here, <laughs> as you can see on that video, and uh, I can still scroll, you're not gonna be able to see that, but I can still scroll the text and, uh, and read it from where I'm standing. Now, like I say, right, I've just taken the camera off now, so um, you, you've got the idea there. So literally, this is just a uh, Microsoft Notepad. It's very, very basic. I mean, you can use any any uh, software. And all I've done is I've blown the font up uh, quite large so that obviously I can see it from back here. So that's it. That's about as simple as it gets. And uh, all you need is uh, any old laptop. I mean, you can buy a beaten up old 10-year-old laptop. It doesn't matter, as long as it's got a USB port, and it will run Windows Notepad um, or whatever the, uh, the, the, what's the Apple equivalent is or whatever, it doesn't matter. As long as you've got a text document that you can put on there and you can use a little mouse to scroll through. Let me zoom in on there. I'm trying to keep the camera steady. So there's me scrolling and that's scrolling. And that's it. And obviously if you want to go back, you just scroll it back again. And all I'm using is the little, the little uh, wheel tool on the mouse to, uh, to do all the scrolling. So there you go, really nice, quick, simple one for you today. Hopefully that'll save you uh, a lot of cash on buying loads and loads of equipment to build your own auto cue. Because one of the other things I find when you build this equipment, I found that with my track dolly, is 99.999% of the time it's stored away somewhere. So you've got to, you know, you've got to find room in the house to, to actually place this stuff. Now, if you're in a massive, great big house, it's not a problem. If you're in a kind of little cubby hole like me, uh, you've got to, uh, you've got to, you know, allocate places, uh, homes for these things that you build. So this, as far as I'm concerned, is is a absolute perfect answer to um, the, you know, needing an auto cue. So anyway, that's it. I hope it's useful to someone. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of the day, and uh, I will see you in the next video.